Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to teach you how to work out GST. Of course, there's a PDF file on the description below for you to download if you like. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. GST is stand for Goods and Service Tax. So when we buy an item, we need to pay tax. So in Australia, we need to pay 10% on the products that we buy. So this is called GST, Goods and Service Tax. So let's go through a couple examples. So first one here, calculate the GST payable on the following items. So the first one is cost $3.75. So that is before GST. So therefore, we need to work out how much GST or how much tax we have to pay. So this is before tax, okay? Just remember that. So therefore, we need to pay 10% GST. So to work out the tax that we have to pay, so just right here, GST is equal to 10%, okay? 10% mean per 100, so 10 over 100, okay? Of $3.75. So that's how you work it out. Or you can write 0 0.1 times 3.75 because 10% is 0 0.1 if you like. But I just write 10%, 10 over 100. Okay, percent means per 100. So 10% means 10 over 100. So now to work this out, so this I can cancel it out. And then I divide by 10. That means the number gets smaller. So move this side. So that means 0 0.375 dollars. If you don't want to work out like this, you, of course, you can just use your calculator. You just go 10 over 100 times 3.75. But then, because it's money, we normally write in two decimal places, okay? So, which is equal to 0 0.38 dollars or 38 cents. Second one. So we need to work out the GST for this, okay? The tax for this is, I just write GST is equal to, so 10%, okay? We have to pay 10% on top of $19.89. So we just turn by $19.85. So we just cancel with this. And then this is just the same as $19.85 divided by 10. So the number gets smaller. So the decimal move to this side. So that means a dollar nine eight five cents. But then remember, we're dealing with money, so we always write in two decimal places, yeah? So that would give me a dollar and ninety-nine cents. There you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How did you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? But before we start, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into this. So first one. So we need to pay 10% of GST or 10% tax on top of $429. So this case, we just need to work out GST only, okay? Just work out the tax. So GST is 10%. So we just write GST is equal to 10% of $429. So that will give me, so I just cancel this. So this is just the same as $429 divided by 10. So no decimal point, it means it's right back here. So just move this on this side. So that would give me $42.90. 42.9 because we're dealing with money. So we just write in two decimal places. There you go. $42.90 tax, okay? On top of $429. Part B. So to work out the GST for this, GST is just 10% on the good that we buy. Just remember that. So we just need to work out the GST, the tax that we have to pay. So GST is equal to 10%. So 10 over 100. Of course, if you like, you can write 0 0.1 times 
379 so that will give me so I can I can cancel this and that is the same as 379 divided by 10 so no decimal point it means right back here so just move one on this side so that give me 37.9 but again because we're dealing with um, money so two decimal place there you go of course you can put that in a calculator 10 divided by 100 times 379 so you should get the same answer next one so in this case here we need to work out the final price so the final price means when you buy an item so you pay the normal price and the 10% on top that is the GST tax so we need to work out the tax first and then we add the price okay on top so that means the final price so whatever the price that you pay for the retailer and the 10% on top because that is for the tax okay so let's just work out GST first so GST so because this bike here is before GST okay so we need to pay 10% on top so that means GST is equal to 10% of 129 so that will give me so what I do I cancel this and then I just move the decimal point because no decimal point it means right back here so you move one you cancel so that will be $12.90 12.9 so therefore we add a zero at the back okay so $12.90 so that is GST but then we need to add the price on top that's how much we pay so first of all okay we just write this down final price I just write final we do okay final price is equal to the price that you need to pay to the retailer okay and then you add the tax on top so that means twelve dollars and ninety cent so now i just add this on top so we go one two nine plus twelve point nine so that would give me one hundred and forty one dollars and ninety cents okay so keep that in mind for me part b so a basketball with the pre-GST price, that means before GST, before tax, it costs $29. So we need to work out the final price. So we need to pay $29 for the shop and then we need to pay 10% on top, okay, for tax, okay, for the government. So first of all, I work out GST first. So GST is equal to 10% of the price. In this case, it's $29. So this is 100, 10% means 10 over 100, and times 29. So what I do, this cancel out, and then 29 divided by 10, and no decimal point, it means right back here, you move 1, because when you divide by 10, the number gets smaller. So 2.9. So that's 2.9. And because it's money, add a 0 in the back, so 2 decimal place. So we need to pay $2.90 on top of, $29 because the tax is $2.90 so therefore the final price so I just write final that will do so that will give me final price is I pay $29 and then we add the GST okay the tax so that's how much I pay so 29 plus 2 is 31 so that means $31.90 so that is the final price for this basketball here. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? So first one. So we need to work out the final price for these televisions. So we work out 10% of $1,448 and then we add that on top of the price. So let's work it out. So we can do GST first or tax equal 10% of okay, 1448. So that cancel out with this. You divide by 10, that means move here. So that will give me one hundred forty-four dollars and eighty cents. That is 
the GST. So therefore, when we buy this television, we need to pay $1,448. And then we need to pay the tax on top, which is $144.80. So the final price, okay, is equal to $1,448. Then we add $144.80. So that will give me, I just use calculator and just add them up. So 1448 plus 144.8. So that will give me 1592. That means $1,592.80. There you go. Of course, there's another way to do it. I'm just going to show you a, a, a different way to work it out. Okay. So let me just clear this first. So to do this, you watch, okay? So originally, we need to pay 100%. Now, 100% means I have to pay $1,448. But then, we need to pay another 10% on top. So therefore, the price that we pay is we need to pay 100 plus 10%. So therefore, we add 10% on top. So therefore, all together, we pay 110%. There you go. So what you need to do, the final price is 110 per cent per 100 times 1448. So that will give me, I just put that in the calculator. So you go 110 divided by 100 over right in fractions, you turn by $1,448. So you should get the same amount. So that is 1592.80. There you go. So if you like, you can also times by 1.1. So you can just write 1.1 times $1,448. Okay. And you should get the same because 110% is 1.1. Okay. So let's go for second one. To work out the final price for this. Of course, you can work out 10% of $1,568. And then whatever you get, then you add that to 1,568. So I'm gonna use this method quicker, yeah? So just to let you know, whichever method you like, doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you get the same answer, all right? So, but as long as you know what you're doing, okay? So first one, so I'm just go to this. So you know that 110%, right? That's what we have to pay. 100% is for the retailer, 10% for the tax office. So therefore, we pay 110%. So therefore, we just go 110 over 100 times 1568 or 1 1.1 times 1568. So I just go 1.1 1 .1 times 1568. So therefore, I have to pay $1,724.80. So that is the amount that I have to pay after tax. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.